Now stepping up, number nine, Corey Brand. Corey digs in. Corey's been red hot since he's returned to the lineup. Here's the pitch. The story was always about a baseball player that had an alcohol problem. I sat down with Carol, and Carol said, I want to do home run, but it's going to be different. It's going to have an element called celebrate recovery in it. And I think that if we did this and shape this towards helping people with addictive behavior in this way, that it would really work. I felt like the Lord impressed on me that he wanted to do a film about addiction and that he wanted to tell people that they no longer had to live with the baggage of not only addiction, but the pain of the horrible choices, that he was interested in healing them. Corey's basically a uh, professional baseball player that used sports and his athletic ability to kind of escape the pain he experienced as a child. That kind of just snowballed into a couple of issues, one being alcoholism. Corey Brand is a troubled Major League Baseball player who's had one drink too many. And he gets a serious wake-up call because he gets suspended for eight weeks. Okay, kid, listen up. I found you a 12-step program. There you go. You couldn't find me a normal program? Well, it is normal. It's just, um, what Jesus. Celebrate recovery. If your career recovers, trust, I will celebrate. What's great about the movie is all the different characters are working on some kind of hurt, some kind of habit, some, you know, whatever. And it shows, it, it will show the audience that a lot of different ways that people are struggling. I play Emma in Home Run. It's uh, Corey's pretty much this long lost flame that he left 10 years ago when he comes back to Oak Mulgee and kind of into my life again and I give him a really hard time. Whatever's broken in you, Corey, whatever your dad did or didn't do, I can't fix it. Neither can Tyler. That hurt inside you is going to hurt Tyler. It already has. There's not a family in, in any of our churches that in one way or another, whether it's the immediate family or, or, uh, or relatives that are, are not directly touched by some of these issues. To me, it really shows a different side of the church, a side that's willing to be vulnerable and willing to, to expose their weaknesses. So I started you know, going through these questions. I, I forced myself to answer these questions, you know. I, I found out why I used, and, and I, I, I still I still struggle, but I, I don't feel I don't feel hopeless anymore. I, it's getting better. I can I can feel myself changing. With this film, you can walk away knowing that there is hope for change. I hope that people see that. Nothing that's going on in their life is beyond repair. Nothing is broken beyond repair. The message that we want to bring to people everywhere is that you can change. The hope of Christ tells us change is possible. Home Run says change is possible. I think this may be somewhere in the, in the Bible, but coming out of the dark into the light. If we can get people to understand God has made a way for you, that would be an absolute home run.